If it is a gold medal winning performance, it is the, the shoddiest that we've seen in recent years. And as uh, much as I love Chan skating, to win a world title after skating like that would be a little strange. Brian Joubert for France. He's in fifth place. Things have opened up a little, though. And who knows? But Joubert is a long, long way behind. 14 points behind Chan. He'd have to have the skate of his life to overtake him. World champion six years ago. Once more, he's the gladiator. Joubert for France. triple axel well he used all of his experience to get himself out of that one in the content now. It's a brave effort this from Joubert. Triple Sarko followed by the triple flip.
Joubert back very nearly at his best. Great to see a guy who lost all confidence a couple of years ago. And now he's back with the big boys. Could that get him on the podium? Ladies and gentlemen, mesdames et messieurs, from France, Brian Joubert. Still taking in the marks for Patrick Chan. Just for the free skate alone, they marked him above Hanyu. Defies belief. Where is Jube going to come in this mix? It'll be an interesting one, that's for sure. I'll tell you, I love this guy. What a gutsy skate that was. He's come from the depths of despair over the last couple of years to get himself back to that sort of form, and uh, that was a monstrous skate from Brian. Love to see him when he's skating like this. To go for that second quad, really, really brave. That was the first one, no problems on that. The axle here, you just watch this. How he got out of this. Didn't get over the right foot at all there. That would have felt awful. But hang on, he did, and here's that second quad. Does he make it round? Yes, he does. Looking for a toe on the end, but uh, just a single there. Goodness me, what a gutsy skate. And he kept pushing it all the way through. A flip there, could have been a triple toe on the end of that. Just not wanting to risk it. Good footwork. He's not going to get the sort of components mark that uh, you saw from Patrick Chan. There's a good close-up look at the Lutz there. Back outside edge, nice and tight in the air. Back outside edge on the landing of that right foot. And all the guys getting really close to the boards, aren't they? They yeah. are. Turn just in time. Yeah, Patrick Chan's score, he was, uh, what, seven points behind Han Yu on the technical. But uh, it was the second mark that did it for him, nine points ahead on that component score. It will baffle 95% of the people who are watching this, and it does the sport no favors. But it's not over yet. Well, he's hoping for the best. <laughs> Long time, they're really weighing it all up. They may be reviewing some of the stuff there. Yeah. Some of the elements again, making sure the rotation was there, counting the rotation on the spins. Making sure everything was how it should be. Here we go then. Personal best, 161 for the free. Some of the marking I'm finding difficult to take in, I have to say. Well, they've hammered him technically there. You need to look at the levels of the spins and uh, 